Here we go. So those do 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 are exactly these generated scale figures here for the hexatonic and for the pentatonic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 53 Flow. Today's episode, we re-entered, we'd been listening to our 1661 pentatonic and hexatonic scales and reflecting on how they sound shallow and deep. For example, the hexatonic has a lot more notes in it, so it tends to come across as kind of smooth, and then this one is a little steeper. So there's a certain feel to those scales. Uh, the second key point is that we've been working, uh, we went ahead and made Improvisation 2 of Summer Arcs using both scales together, and that's what we spent the bulk of our time on. Uh, in doing that, we examined the uh, MIDI structure of it, which you just saw us do here, and then we actually made a magic animation. And if you remember, the key difference between the hexatonic scale and the pentatonic is we have two extra notes, and those two extra notes are a B flat and an A. And so in our animation, we're making a big deal of pointing that out. That's all the notes there are, and then B flat, B flat, A, and then it moves on from there. And in the actual score, which we'll look at here, here's the B-flat and the B-flat coming in. And then inside the cadence, we have the same thing going on, uh, an octave lower. And, and that completely distinguishes these first three lines from the second three lines, to the point that the scales that we're using as ornamentation and the... Uh, and the chords that we're using as well. So what we're going to do is play this improvisation for you, and that'll bring us home. Here we go. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about this piece so far is we like not only adding the ornamentation and the two scales working together, but we like how um, we're kind of implying, this is kind of um, theoretical, but for example, here you can see that we're using three notes, the B flat, the B, B flat, and the G. But the minute we throw the ornamentation in, we're throwing in these extra notes down here. And yet, and yet, those belong to the scale that this got taken from. Same thing here. This is the pentatonic chord, which is using these two notes. Then when we play it against its scale, we throw some extra notes in there. So we're kind of hearing the full background of each hexatonic and pentatonic scale softly in the background even as the main melodies 
are kind of striking out and 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 being heard in the spotlight the other thing that's intriguing is that a lot of these melodies are the same this is the same backbone here but when you play them with different cadences they come across differently very different so again using different scales and tonalities for you know things that are in the same in the middle really adds a lot of depth and breadth that we feel so our ideas for a next time are to keep working with the summer arcs pentatonic and hexatonic. I'm going to give a shout out to Miss Cleo who kept us inspired with some of these ideas and hello hi stop by. We appreciate it. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.